Hi everyone, I am going to do a video today and show you how to make a layout similar to this one here that is featured in our idea book on page 62. But in mine, I'm going to use Ivy Lane papers as well as the art booking cartridge. And I've had a request from some customers about how to adapt some of our 12 inch cuts to a six inch machine. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a six, six inch machine so I can't try this here. But what I can do is give you some suggestions and they should work based on the overlay system that we have on the art booking cartridge. So in specific, we are going to be using this um, overlay image right here. If you have a 12 inch machine, you'll be using that one. If you have a six inch machine, my thought and my theory is that you should be able to use this one and cut it to fit to page and just make two different cuts and then piece it together. So that is found on page 62 of the art booking cartridge. And it's just a one page layout we're working on today, but you can easily use the suggested features here to make a second page if that's what you'd like to do. But I have one photo of my mother-in-law and my daughter, and there's nothing else to go with it. So a one page layout is going to work perfectly and it's a great photo, so I wanna make sure I use it. So that will be with, as I said, the Ivy Lane paper. Now over at my Cricut, I've loaded the piece of paper I want to cut for my overlay. Um, and I just want to point out a few features of the art booking cartridge in case you're new to using art booking. Art booking is a cartridge that has some unique features in that it um, has a snapping feature. That means everything that I want to cut on this page will automatically cut to the right size for a two page 12 inch layout as long as I have the feature set according to what you see right here. So 11 inches, sorry it's blurry, it's kind of falling out of my hand. 11 inches and um, that's all I have to pick on the dial. So once I do that, anything I cut on here will be cut according to the size that it's meant to be for this layout. If I want to do something different, I need to select the real dial size on my Cricut, which is right here, and then I can cut things to other sizes. So in this case, I want to keep it as big as it gets which is the 11 inches and I'm going to cut the overlay as it was shown in the book and I'll show you what we have when we're done. All right so here, oh sorry camera's upside down. Here is my finished overlay so I've actually decided this is the side I fully intended to use coming into this project but I've actually decided I like the back side better. So that's part of the beauty of the Close to My Heart papers is that you have lots of options and you can play it up depending on what you're doing. So I was going to use that one, now I'm going to use this one. And I've played up with the cardstock base for my layout as well. So I've got it on some of the beige that comes in the, the kit. I've tried it on, sorry, some of the green. And I think I've settled on the purple, the smoky plum. I find when using the overlays, um, a tone on tone look looks a little more classy and a little better than some of the deep contrasts that I've seen out there. And I think it's really personal preference. Some people don't mind the deep contrast. I myself think this looks much better and very nice and it'll still attract focus to my photo, which really is what the project's about. It's about your photo, not just about your layout. To cutting things with art booking, especially overlays, a quick tip for you is to make sure you've got a really nice sharp blade in your Cricut machine. Otherwise, what can happen is you end up hand cutting some of the pieces out from your overlays that may not cut out really well, which is what happened with me. I didn't change my blade. So making sure you've got a nice sharp blade is going to be key to getting a really crisp, clean overlay to use on your layout. So now I'm going to go to the next step and We'll be back in just a minute with what we're going to do and what we're going to add to our layout. All right, so I've got my photo matted now. I matted it on a piece of the Ivy Lane paper, this pink script piece. I just love it. Such a pretty piece of paper. It was. It's sometimes really hard to cover it up, but it was the piece that looked the best against the purples. Um, in the sample from the idea book that I'm kind of using as my in inspiration piece, they had a piece of shimmer tape across the bottom. Now we've got quite a few different colors. Um, here's some of them and I just love them. They're so awesome. These shimmer trims are self-adhesive and they go down really easy and they really add some great sparkle to your layout. Now although we have a purple and I've got a lot of purple in my layouts, it's a little too bright and fun for the layout that I'm really putting together right now. So I decided to use my last little bit of the bronze shimmer trim because it works a little better and I'll bring it through in a few different spots in the layout when we get it all finished. 
Um, the other piece I'm using is the art booking, one of the cartridges, or sorry, one of the stamp sets that comes with the art booking um, Cricut set. So when you buy a Cricut cartridge from close to my heart, even though the cartridge has 700 images and you're getting all of those for $99, we also throw in three coordinating stamp sets and three coordinating sheets of die cuts. So it's a really great value. The stamp sets alone are worth close to $60. So this is the one I'm going to be using here to add to my layout and to do different features. And you can see part of the beauty of the close to my heart system, if I can zoom in well enough, there you go, is that beside the image, it tells you which page in the Cricut companion book you'll find this image and what size to cut it out on. Um, it also tells you which cartridge it goes to. So this one's clear, clearly labeled art booking, but all my stuff is there so easily I can cut out the images I need. Now for this stamp set, I'm going to cut out this image, this image, and I'm also gonna use these, but starting with those two are the ones that I need to cut out on the Cricut and I'm gonna do them in bamboo cardstock as it matches what we're working with. So I've gone ahead and I have stamped, sorry, <laughs> I've stamped the images that we cut out on the Cricut. So when you're cutting them out, just keep in mind that real dial size for the art booking. So these came off of page elements for 12 by 12 pages. So if I didn't select real dial size and then cut in this one, in this case at four inches, I would have had a very different sized element that I wanted. So for these ones, because they weren't coming off a snap feature 12 by 12 page exactly, I needed to make sure I selected the real dial size in order to get the sizes indicated on the stamp set. So there's the one element, I stamped it in smoky plum. Here's the other one, it's kind of like the doily look. This one I did something a little unique, it's called the rock and roll technique. So I stamped it in our sweet leaf green and then I rolled the edges, the rock and roll, in a smoky plum just to give it a bit of tonal effect. And then I've gone ahead, oh, I stamped this little guy too, he's one of the features that I want for this layout. And I've gone ahead and I've um, cut either from the last remnants of my bronze shimmer trim or some papers, some pennants that I'm gonna to add to the layout. So what I'm gonna do now is assemble my layout using these elements, add some accessories, and then I'll bring you back when I'm finished to show you how it all turned out. All right, so I've assembled all the pieces. I'll zoom in on some of the elements so you can see what I've done. So I did use foam tape to pop up quite a few of the elements on my layout. It really does help to layer things if you've got foam tape under things. So I've used foam tape under my photo, under this um, journaling box and also under the suite just to really add some different elements. It makes it much easier to, to um, stick pennants underneath the journaling element if it's raised up. And same over here, it was much easier to stick these things under my photo because it was raised up. So you can see I've added those pennants there as well as a bit of the bronze shimmer trim and some sparkles to finish that element off. Down here I have the shimmer trim, the journaling box, a few of the other pennants. This pennant here, thanks for the memories, actually comes from the top of one of the pieces of paper in the Ivy Lane from our zip strips, which are unique to Close to My Heart products in that you get something usable on the top of your paper. On the back side, it has things like copyright and the colors used in the paper so you know what matches, which is also good, but you can turn it over, cut it off. It leaves your 12 by 12 intact, but gives you something useful. Uh, other pennants here, some more sparkles, and then I had one I was so lucky. One Ivy Lane flower left from the Ivy Lane assortment that comes um, not with the paper, but you can buy as a complement to the paper. I think the layout turned out really well for a single page layout. And I would love to see what you guys do creating this kind of layout. So if you do create a layout using this video as your tool, please either post on my website, brayer.com, or on my YouTube channel and um, provide me a link so I can see what you have. I would love to see what people create with this.